Welcome to Corn Fed TV. My name is Lincoln, and today we are installing this. Let's get in here and show you what it is. Oh shit. There it is. Alright. Don't mind the mess. Knife out here. Jesus. I think I'd be more prepared. There it is. Oh, it sounds metal, doesn't it? Okay. What is it? Whatever could it be? Alright. And we got bolts. And <laughs> just kidding. I'm gonna go put one of these on real quick and then show you what it is. So before we get started, I'll have you know it's another mall crawler mod. So if you're not here for the JL mall crawler crap, come back later. I've got another one. Ah, it's, it's over here. Where is it? There. That guy. There it is, right there. That guy. I got a video on it coming soon. Um, I'll just come over here real quick. I'll show you. I'm not bullshitting you. It's been played with recently. We'll go over it. It's in the works. I haven't looked at the footage yet. It's coming. Plus, I have a surprise trip coming up. So, anyway, back to this deal. So, bought this Jeep back in December. It had the steel bumper. And uh, it had the ends on it. I just took it off because I like the stubby look. If you come back over here to the TJ, you'll understand that I like the stubby look. So, so I have the ends. I, I didn't realize how freaking heavy this thing was. But if you look at it, if you were to look at it on the back side of the bumper, I don't know why I keep spinning around, but anyway, if you were to look at it from the back side of the bumper, it has this right here, which gives it a complete look, you know, because you're not looking at, you know, whatever's on the inside, hollowed out metal. But, if you come over here to the stubby bumper, and this is something that I noticed. So after I took off the stubby bumper, I noticed that it looked unfinished, but it still had these bolt holes. Let me get my finger out of there. There we go. And I was like, man, I wonder if they make a product that covers that. Surely somebody does. Surely it's not that big a deal. And then I seen Shocker Garage post a video and uh, it was like the same day, next day, something like that. I was like, this dude's reading my mind. This is, this is freaking cool. Anyway, they got one. So what we have here is a metal plate and it covers up everything that's ugly back here. And then you get this rubber deal that fills the, fills the void because there is a void. As you can see, the metal plate, the bumper, there's a metal void there. All right hollow void and it just doesn't look complete and you have to put that piece on and that piece i kind of messed up on but you know honestly probably nobody's gonna notice it other than another jeep enthusiast so what come in the package was and who it's from is utah design foundry ryan ryan utah on the gram but anyway, what comes in it is your plate. Just a CNC cut plate. It's got a powder coating on it. And then you get this rubber. That is it. And if you're like my wife who bought that any of the bolts, you can get these for 10 extra bucks. She said, I didn't know that you didn't need them, but you can always use them. So surely now there's something along the lines that I'll need them for. So that is what comes in it. You fill your void. It's two pieces. I think this runs about 69 for just the plate and that guy right there, it runs 79 if you need the bolts. It really cleans up everything. So I will uh, take you back outside, give you a little before and after view of it. See what you think. Go check them out, like I said. It's Utah Design Foundry. I'll try and put a link somewhere up in here. Um, it's a product I've been eyeballing for a while, and it's something that'll definitely clean it up. I have one more product that I'd like to put on there. I just don't know how soon it'll be put on there because I really like the steel bumper from Mopar. They did a great job. Is it thick and going to hold up to beating the hell out of it? Probably not. But I try to drive sensible 
I know that some of my videos it looks like I go happy on the throttle, but I'm not aimed at a tree. I'm not gonna destroy my parts. Now the only part, the only bumper that I would like to get rid of because I can't really find the upgrades I'm looking for, obviously the rear. The fenders, man, if, if, if anybody has a, a hookup to some painted Ma Mojito Rubicon fenders, specifically Rubicon, please send a comment down here. Let me know because I, I really like those fenders. Um, I would rather they be paint matched, but I really don't want to go to a steel fender because that just... A JL is kind of distinct on its own, and I've seen too many JLs look JK. And I've seen JK starting to look like JLs because of the grill and just some other things. I actually seen a JK the other day with JL fenders on it, and I'm like, I don't, I just want to stay distinct to what it is without having to break the mold. So, before we go down that rabbit hole, looking for painted fingers, look down here. I got some links somewhere up here. It'll definitely be down here in the description. Uh, here's an outro to a before, after, and just kind of overall look of the bumper itself. If you, this will kind of be a uh, before and after as well of the other part that I was talking about. So anyway, thanks for my rambling. Thanks for watching my rambling. I've been Lincoln. Y'all been great. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this.